All right, here we are. It is, uh, what is today? Monday? Monday, yes, Monday night. Um, <laughs> you can really lose track of time, at these sort of things. Um, but anyway, uh, testing today wasn't quite as pleasant uh, as previous days. Um, I did get to try out uh, Burning Earth, which was one of the most important cards in M14, uh, in my opinion. It was really, 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 really good against Blue White Red. It was basically unbeatable out of my Green Red deck. Uh, if I cast the Burning Earth, they were pretty much dead every single time. Um, after going even ish pre cyborg, I you know won all but one post cyborg game that I played, something like nine to one or something like that. Um, the problem came um, when I started playing against uh, Jund with Lifebait Zombie. Um, Lifebait Zombie is completely bonkers, like off the charts, ridiculously good. Um, to the point that, like, I'm actually kind of shocked that this card got printed, uh, particularly because it, it's the sort of card that doesn't really have any counterplay to it. You know, it, if your opponent is playing green or white and has creatures in their deck, it's good against them, basically. Um, in particular, it's good against anyone who's playing uh, mid-sized creatures or big creatures because, you know, it's more, more likely than not that it'll come down before you're able to play them. Um, and that, that card uh, made what I thought was going to be a pretty, pretty good matchup after sideboarding um, into pretty bad. Um, I, was, I was losing more than I was winning. Um, not an insurmountable uh, degree, but uh, an amount more than I was, I was, I was pleased with. Um, in particular, the combination of Life Bane Zombie and just all the life gain creatures in the deck. Um, like Thrag Tusk and uh, Huntmaster, Scavenging Ooze, uh, made it so that Burning Earth was really not very effective against uh, against Jund. Uh, I was pretty unimpressed, and actually there were a lot of games where, you know, I drew Burning Earth when if, if it were a, uh, a creature, some sort of threat, uh, that you know, I may have just done way better. Uh, also, I was playing against Golgari Charms, which makes it so you know Burning Earth is clearly less powerful, even in the games where it would be good because of a way to kill it. Um, so I'm a little... I'm a little less convinced that I want to be playing uh, Green Red. Um, there's a chance that I end up playing the same Jun deck that uh, I think the rest of the rest of the group I'm testing with is going to play, which is Jun with Lifebane Zombie. Um, it's you know, Lifebane Zombie and Scavenging Ooze uh, give the Jun deck a lot more play when it doesn't draw its Farseek. Uh, you know, you end up having things you can do in the early turns. You can, you know, actually be proactive. You can play, you know, Scavenging Ooze into Lifebane Zombie into a creature. You know, you're not just a removal deck until you hit four mana, um, which changes the way the deck plays a ton, and I think changes uh, a lot of the matchups uh, quite a bit. So, um, I, is a, there's a decent chance I play, play Green Red, there's a decent chance I play Jund, not entirely sure which one I'm going to play. I have to make the decision by, you know, tomorrow night. Um... I've played a lot with my green-red deck, and I like it, uh, but I, it really depends on um, how, uh, just kind of how I feel tomorrow. Uh, I, I expect Lifebane Zombie to be reasonably popular among Jund decks, because uh, it's not only is it good in, you know, the Jund Mirror, because it can take Thrag Tusk, it can take, uh, it can take Huntmaster, uh, but it's also just, you know, obviously good against any sort of green or white creature deck. Um, so, not really sure it showed up. Uh, quite a bit uh, at the at the Grand Prix in Calgary, uh, which makes it seem more likely that that Life Bait Zombie will be popular among Jun decks. Um, if I were expecting a field of uh, you know Jun decks that could end up playing you know Jun in uh, you know playing a bunch of Jun mirrors, um, or I could play the red green deck and you know potentially be people who don't have Life Bait Zombie, or you know maybe find you know some some other way to uh, to try and maneuver that matchup a little differently. Um, so uh, yeah. In Modern, I'm still planning on playing Green-White. Uh, I haven't really played any Modern since I got here, but I was happy with my deck when I got here. Um, so that is decided. And uh, yeah, still deciding on Standard. Not really sure. Um, kind of wish Life Bane Zombie didn't exist because it's pretty ridiculous. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's where, uh, where things are at right now. I'm about to head to sleep. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of shaggy. <laughs> I uh, don't really shave much when I'm testing for tournaments. It kind of wastes time, and, you know, it doesn't matter that I'm a mess when I'm playing cards. So, anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. Um, we will, uh, I'll check back in tomorrow um, after sort of the, uh, the interviews and final deck lists and stuff are turned in. But, uh, yeah, we will, uh, we'll see how things go. So, see you then.